You're going to want to see this one. 350 Army National Guard troops return to a hero's welcome tonight at Mustang High School. And our Steve Shaw has been at Broncos Stadium all night long. He's been talking to returning soldiers and also their families. Steve? Kelly and Amanda, this squadron has a lineage that goes back to the old Oklahoma Territory in the 1890s. Teddy Roosevelt in the Spanish-American War. This time it was Afghanistan. It never gets old watching it. It's agonizing for those who live it. These are members of the 1st Squadron 180th Cavalry Regiment. No losses, thank God. Colonel Chris Komash is also a Tulsa police officer. He says some of these soldiers have been deployed as many as six times. This time, they did 10 months in Kabul, Afghanistan. How have you been able to stay in touch? FaceTime. Constantly, every day. Logan and Mason Owens' daughter Harper was born four months ago. Daddy was about to see his littlest for the first time. Having two older children and then having a newborn on top of that, and I'm a full-time teacher. It's it's just been a long road, and I'm glad it's over. Ryan Smith and his family are from Stratford. We're kind of used to it, so I've been in about 18 years. So this is my this is my fourth time. So. But uh, it doesn't it doesn't get easier though being gone. So but, yeah, happy to home. The soldiers drove up from Fort Bliss today. That's in uh, El Paso, Texas. They had a slight hiccup. One of the buses uh, broke down for about 30 minutes, but they got here. Live on the scene on the story in Mustang, Steve Shaw, News Nine.